How to scratch. Ugh. That's my girl. Oh, Daddy, it was awful. If it hadn't been for Rusty. Look, I want to hear all about it. But first, I have some news. News? Yeah. Dylan here is Reba's boy. Oh, what do you mean? He's working in her yard now? No, no, no. He's her son. Oh. Reva is Dylan's mama. What? I, I didn't know Reva had another child. Oh, wait, wait, wait. When did this happen? How did it happen? Where was I? Where was Never. I? You were both too young, and nobody knew except Sarah. Uh. You asked me to find your mama. It turns out to be my sister. I don't know. Does Reva know? Well, they say she was there. Yeah, she meant <laughs> now, man. You, you can all hear about this tomorrow, plenty of time. Right now, we're all tired. Come on. I, I can't believe this. Reva had a child when she was... Damn, damn what it... I'm your uncle? I mean... <laughs> I'm very confused. I bet no, you're very confused, we can go, too. We can go through this tomorrow. Right now, you need some rest. Yeah, my leg's kind of hurting me. What's wrong with your leg? No. Uh, Reva ran over him. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Reva ran over him. Like, you can hear about this tomorrow. Yeah. Let's hit the hay. All right, night. Ooh, and where are you, where are you going? I'm going to the garage. I found a bunk in there. No, no, no. That was before you were kin to Reva. Now you sleep upstairs in the guest room. Russ, do you want to take him up there and show him where it is? Uh, sure. Hey. Right. Good night. Good night. I can't believe this. Dylan is Rusty's nephew. Guy, he must really had your hands full across the creek. Oh, you little monkey face. Come here. Oh, God, I'm so glad you're well. You know, I could just kick myself, kick myself for not being there when you needed me. You know something? If I'd have known, there's nothing that would have ever kept me away from you. I know that, Daddy. That's why I love you so much, no matter what. I treated you bad over this old Jeffrey thing. So you didn't know what I was doing? Yeah, but I should have had faith in you. Instead, I tried to cut you off from family and from the money. I know, you were perfect. I was what? Yes, I counted on you doing exactly what you did. Otherwise, Will might have suspected even sooner. Come here, <laughs> you. I don't believe it. You are a sly little dickens. <laughs> you just remind me never to underestimate you again. Gladly. Yeah. I see now, it all makes sense. Not quite. Why is, why is Dylan here with you and not with Reva? Everybody gone? Yeah, everybody. Well, why don't you come to bed then and try not to think about it? That's easier said than done, and you know it. Look, I know that I'm pushing too hard, but... Dylan is my son, and I just want to try to make everything up to him. Look, you knew that this thing was going to be difficult, right? I mean, things like this take time to adjust to. I know. So what's the problem? I guess I, I just... I feel like he's disappointed that I turned out to be his mama. It's late. I'm going to get ready for bed. Come here, come here. Come here. Sure. You got to give him some time. I mean, things like this don't take care of themselves overnight, but something will happen, and when it does, we'll, we'll be there for him. I know how hard this must be on you. It's a little strange. But it kind of comes with the territory, you know, loving you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I do think we have to be careful with Mara, though. And what she's feeling. Oh, no. I was just excited about telling her about Dylan. She's been center stage for a long time. I know. I mean, having a baby to deal with, that's something, you know, but that's that's little. Having an older brother, that's a whole different story. I just story. wonder why he didn't want to stay here with us. Do you think it's because you didn't ask him? Why don't you go ask him why he doesn't want to stay here? Don't be mad at no, me. No, I'm not mad. I just, I can't try to psych out a kid that I hardly know, 
You know, I, I don't know why he would rather stay with Billy than stay with us. Well, just forget it then. Honey, I can't. You know that. I mean, this thing is going to keep you up all night. Why don't you just go over there and have a talk with him? Well, you, I... I, I, I thought about doing that, but then I didn't think it was such a good idea. I mean, I, it might come off as overbearing. Well, maybe so. I mean, you know how I have a tendency to go charging into situations like a bull in a china shop. That's very true. But then you you said that you, you thought I should go, right? I mean, that, that it wouldn't be too much for Dylan to take in one night? I don't think it would hurt to show him that you care about him. <sighs> Okay. I won't be long. Because he is important to me. Why? Well, you, you know how I, I feel about strays. Yeah, that's what he is. Oh, that boy's a winner. If you say so. No, Donald, he is. He is. I knew it the first time I saw him. Hey, he's going to need all, all the help he can get tomorrow at that probation, parole hearing. You know, Daddy, I think it's sort of sweet the way you've taken an interest in him with all the family problems you have and you still have time to worry about somebody like Dylan. Yeah, well, it's not like he's a nobody. I mean, he is Reva's boy. I still can't quite get over that. Yeah, you and me both. How does Reva feel about that? Oh, happy, sad, crazy. <laughs> And, and Uncle Josh, all of a sudden, he is a stepfather to another man's son. Who is the father? Get that. <clears throat> Hi, Billy. I know it's late, but I, I had to see Dylan. Mindy. <laughs> Honey, I heard what happened. Thank God you're okay. Oh. Now, you didn't think you were going to get rid of me that easily, did you? No, you listened to her. <laughs> yeah, old Will didn't stand a chance. Yeah, Will. Boy, thank God. You, I mean, you were so brave, and we were all so proud of you. Thank you. And, uh, congratulations on your new son. Ah, uh, you, uh, heard about him. Yeah, Daddy told me. And I'm sure you have a million questions. Yeah, actually, I... And I, we'll get into all that later. Right now, I just, I, I want to see Dylan. Hmm. Well, you just saw him. Well, I know that, but I couldn't sleep. I, I kept thinking about him being over here, worrying about uh, him at the hearing tomorrow. And Now, I know that he said he didn't want any help with the parole board, but don't you think that it would be better if those people could see that his mother was Darn, there? Darn. Get this way till the morning. He just went to bed. I just want him to know how much I care about him. Care about me? Lady, you don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> 